the scanning technique for the medial iliac lymph nodes in lateral recumbent canine patients. For this ultrasound, a linear transducer will be used at high frequencies with or without harmonics. The general gain should be maintained at approximately 60 to 65%, and the third or fourth TGC curve should be selected from the drop-down menu. For this technique, the patient is scanned in both left and right lateral recumbencies with their feet directed towards the sonographer. The right recumbency is used to assess the left medial iliac lymph nodes, while the opposite position is used to assess the right iliac. This position allows a single person to hold the patient and have control over the front and hind limbs. To begin in the long axis, position the transducer marker towards the patient's head. Place it dorsally at the level of the back musculature. Slide the transducer ventrally until the aorta appears. Follow the aorta towards the bifurcation of the aorta and caudal vena cava. The aorta will be on the left and the caudal vena cava on the right. Bend the transducer dorsally and ventrally with a slow motion to locate the lymph nodes that abut this region. At this point, it is recommended to rotate the transducer 90 degrees to assess the area in the short axis. Ensure that the marker is always pointing to the right of the patient. It's important to use color Doppler to differentiate the vessels from hypoechoic lymph nodes. The lymph nodes will be well-defined, smooth, fusiform, isoechoic, or slightly hypoechoic to the surrounding tissue. Lymph nodes will appear prominent in puppies. Ensure that the long axis and the short axis lengths and widths are measured. If the urinary bladder is used as a reference point, the aortic bifurcation will be located at the level of the body or the apex. If during this procedure, long axis visualization is difficult, it's recommended that the sonographer use color Doppler and the transverse plane.